Before we start today's video, I really want to announce that you guys all know that I'm sponsored by Follow the Action Outdoors. Follow the Action Outdoors has literally have paved a path for me, gave me pretty much everything, helped me set everything up, helped me with my logo, everything. They literally paid me full time to do this and I could not be any more appreciative. And a lot of you guys have been kind of concerned that I have ruined the relationship with Follow the Action, but I haven't because I've actually paired up with X Zone Lures and Exxon Lures knows that I'm sponsored by Follow the Action. Me and Exxon worked out a great deal, a great deal for both of us, and that is not gonna affect anything with FTA. I'm still gonna use their baits, I'm gonna use Exxon's baits, and all my apparel is still FTA. I got everything on FTA, and I'm super happy to be with both companies, and this channel is really starting to do really good, and I cannot appreciate all the support from you guys. If you guys wanna buy anything off followtheaction.com, use promo code McGrathFish to save 20% off on your entire order. And if you guys wanna get anything from exxonlures.com, Use code TOMMY, all in caps, T-O-M-M-Y, to save 20% off on all your baits. Guys, these baits are literally gonna change the game. They're muscle bat crawls, they're adrenaline bugs, they're true center worms, they're net zones. All their baits are so original, they've been proven by the best, Brandon Polinick, Brandon Lester. Their baits just definitely separate the game. Their baits really stand out, the colors are unique, all their crawls are floating, all their baits float, they just got some great action. So guys, go check them out, followtheaction.com and xonlures.com. I appreciate the support, and let's get into today's video. What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. Today we're going to be talking about fishing knots. Fishing knots are one of the most underrated but most important parts of fishing. So I want to give you guys the five most important knots that you guys should know how to tie. Every fisherman must know how to tie these no matter if they're throwing crank baits, swim baits, jerk baits, jigs, finesse rigs, anything. You guys must know how to tie these knots. So we're going to start with one of the easiest ones that you guys probably all know how to tie and that's the clinch knot. I'm using this just to give you guys a better example of how to actually do it. I'm using some string, so it might not pull the best, but you guys will get the basic idea. So you're gonna go through your eyelet as normal. Go about six times around. This is a clinch knot. Once you go about five, six times around, you're gonna go through that little small loop that you made at the bottom, and you're gonna pull. Then it's gonna cinch down, perfect, creating that spiral wrap perfectly down and then you can clip your tag end and you guys got yourself the basic clinch knot. So I don't normally use that knot at all. I actually use the improved clinch knot. I use the improved clinch knot for crank baits, jerk baits, swim baits, sometimes a Ned rig, but that is basically it. So I'm gonna get into kind of what I use for other stuff as well. But the improved clinch knot is literally the same thing. You're gonna take your tag and go through the eyelet, go around about five, six times again, five to seven times, however you want to do it. But this is a huge part now. So you got your loop in the bottom that you went through last time. And then when you go through that little loop right there, you're actually creating this opening right here then. So what I'm gonna do is take my tag in and go through that opening that I just made and cinch down. That is the improved clinch knot. So it's one extra step off the clinch knot is a great knot. I use this knot all the time and it is a super strong, durable knot. I've never had any issues with it. I tie it on fluoro. We're going to get into all my setups next week on what pound test, on what reel, what pull, everything like that next week's video. But this week we're just going to talk about the knots. So knot number three is the polymer knot. The polymer knot is I use for drop shots, so the hook sits horizontal like this, so when your line's running straight down, you got your sinker right here, you got your hook right here, and then your, your hook is actually sitting horizontal, so you get that extra play in the bait. If you wanted to, you could tie this knot on every single lure. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the eyelet, as you would, to start a knot. You're gonna take your tag, and I'm gonna pull a little bit extra so you guys can see what I'm doing. You're gonna go back through the eyelet, then once you come through about a few inches, so you create this loop right here. So then I got my tag in, you got your line, and then I'm gonna take this loop and tie an overhand knot. So then you still got your tag in, now you got an overhand knot, and then you got your loop right here. So picture the hook going like this. So if this was a point right here, it's hooking back here. So this is a base, but it's hooking up. You wanna take your loop and come over that hook come around it. So once you went around it, you're gonna come up on top. You got your loop right here. Now this is super important. You wanna keep this loop so when you cinch it down, it's gonna stay on top of your knot and not cinch around it. So here's your loop. Like I said, you really want your loop 
to stay right on top of the knot. So if you can see, my loop is right on top and it's cinching down right on top. You do not want that knot to cinch around your knot or on the side. You want it straight on top. This is one of the strongest knots in all of fishing. Super easy knot to tie and it will save you guys so much time, effort, and headache of snapping line. If you guys have a lot of problems by snapping your line or anything like that, snapping of the knot, the polymer knot is one of the strongest knots in all of the fishing. So the fourth knot, the fourth knot is a little bit tricky, but it's still an easy knot. So this knot is specifically used for flipping hooks, in my opinion. You guys could use it for other hooks or other stuff like that, but if you've got a bullet weight, you got your peg on top, your bullet weight, and then your hook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the eyelet and we're gonna pull down a little bit. Then I'm gonna hold about halfway down the hook, and then you're gonna take the tag that you got you're holding. So when you're coming up, you're gonna create a loop around your finger. When you come up, you're gonna go, wanna go around the base of the hook about six times. I'm only gonna do it a few times just for show, but you wanna go around five to seven times as you would for any other knot. So then once you got this tag in, you still got this loop right here. So now you're gonna take your tag and after you went around five to seven times, you're gonna wanna go through that loop you created and pull tight. So now what this does, your line is actually running in the eyelet but going on the other side. So when you got your bullet weight up here, now watch this. When you set the hook, do you see how that's moving? When you're actually setting the hook, you're actually setting the hook in the fish's mouth by just pulling already. So immediately right when you set that hook, that hook is driving to the top of the mouth without you having to do anything yet because the bullet weight is pushing down on the eyelet and the line so it's driving the hook straight up. So the fifth and final knot is actually tying from braid to mono or braid to flora. So on all my spinning setups, I always have about anywhere from 12 to 17 pound braid on and depending what reel, what rod, everything like that, what I'm going for. And then I'm always tying anywhere from a six pound all the way up to a 12 pound mono or fluorocarbon leader. Again, depending on water clarity, depending on what I'm fishing for, my setup, like everything like that. So there's a lot of factors that go in. If you guys have any questions about the knots, the setups I throw, what pound tests to use for different water clarity, for stuff like that, braid to floral, braid to mono, you guys can DM me at McGrath Fishing on Instagram. Now me and my buddy got into a little bit of a heated argument. He throws straight braid in like everything. I mean, it doesn't, I've never heard about anyone in the entire fishing industry throwing straight braid unless it's top water. I mean, dark, black or green braid for top water, I understand that. But for everything else, I just don't understand it. I'm either throwing straight floral, braid to floral, braid to mono, and then obviously in my top water setup, I do throw a straight braid on that, but that's a lot different. All right, so I got some 15 pound braid and some 10 pound floral. This is Seaguar and Vizax, super strong, a little bit expensive, but amazing floral to use. So you're gonna take about six inches of braid, six inches of floral, and you're gonna overlap them. So you're gonna want, again, five, six inches of braid over here, and then you're gonna want five, six inches of floral over here. Now you're gonna wanna pinch in the middle, so then you got your two tag ends over here. You're gonna wanna come off just a few inches. I'm gonna start with the braid side. You're gonna take your braid, and you're gonna wrap it, you're gonna make a loop. You're gonna make a loop and you're gonna come around both the floro and the braid. I have another video on this, it's super clear, easy to see, but I figured I'd do this one again. You're, I go around five to seven times as well. It's always five to seven for me. And then when you cinch down, you're gonna create a nice spiral knot, just like that. So then you got a little bit over here, and now what I'm left with is the fluoro and then you got your braid. This braid is going to your reel. This fluoro is sitting on the spool because this is your fluorocarbon leader. This is what you're gonna tie your hook onto. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna literally take the fluoro, create a loop. I like to pinch right before the knot so it doesn't do anything. So then look, you got that. You're pretty much creating like a six with it. And then you're gonna take your tag in and come around both the braid and the fluoro. Again, five, six times. All right, so I'm around five, six times. You're gonna, you're gonna pull. Again, you're gonna create that nice spiral knot. Now you're left with two tag ends and two knots. You got your braid over here, your mono over here, and these are loose. You're gonna cut those, but you're not gonna cut them yet. You're gonna hold the fluoro, hold the braid, and you wanna cinch those two knots together. So those two knots just came together. Give them a nice little tug right there. Now grab your handy dandy pliers, clip the tag ends. I like to leave like 
a little less than an eighth inch. Because I'm super confident in my knot, so I'm not really worried about it slipping. But if you guys are a little bit worried, you guys can leave a little bit more. A quarter inch, eighth inch. The only problem you will run into leaving too big of tag ends, it will get hung up on the eyelet. So like when you're reeling your line through, it will definitely get hung up a little bit, but not too bad. So, all right, now watch this. I know I'm going to ruin my line here, so you don't have to do it like this. But I'm going to wrap this line around my hand with the braid and the fluoro. And I'm really going to I'm really gonna pull on this so you guys can see how strong this knot is. I'm literally giving it all I got without actually like literally cinching my fingers off with this fluoro. So you guys can see this knot is not going to come undone. I've caught 30 pound, 25 pound salmon on literally 12 pound mono leader, this exact same knot, 15 pound braid. You guys are not going to snap up. You guys do this knot right, it will not ever let you down. So all these knots I feel like are the best five knots that every fisherman should know. So you got your clinch knot, you got your improved clinch, you got your polymer, you got your snell knot, and then your fifth knot being the double uni knot is tying from braid to floral or braid to mono, whatever you prefer. Again, all depends on water clarity, what you're fishing for, your setup, your pull, everything like that. There's so many factors, but that is how you do the double uni knot and is super strong. Again, you can make these tagging shorter, longer, whatever you think. I don't have a problem with it cutting them too short because I know my knots are super strong and I've never actually had this knot snap on me. So all the time I'm snagged on a rock, a log, tree, whatever it may be, if I'm pulling as hard as I can, I've never had this knot pop off. It's always the knot I tie on my hook or my hook literally just bends and gives out. So, but I've never had this knot break, knock on wood. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is a video I think every fisherman should know and these five knots are the most important. And next week, I'm gonna be going over all my setups for 2020 and what pound test I have on what reel, on what rod, the lures I have on, and what knots I tie for those. So I'm not gonna re-show you guys the knots, I'm just gonna show you like, here's my jig, here's the polymer knot, and I have it on 20 pound floral, or stuff like that. So that's gonna be next week, next Friday. I'm sorry I do not have two videos a week this week. I am getting ready for Bull Shoals. I didn't have really time to film a vlog. I would say maybe next week or the week after that, we're gonna be doing two fishing videos a week, and if you guys want to continue to see a vlog, I'm gonna try and do the vlog, so that'd be three videos a week, but, we're going back to two fishing videos a week. We're gonna hit the ground running. And spring is like right around the corner. It is already spring down in Bull Shoals, Arkansas. I'm leaving to go to Bull Shoals on this Friday for like a nine day trip. I'm going with my buddy. And this trip is actually sponsored by McGrath Fishing. This trip is the first trip I'm taking where I've completely paid for everything, but I'm still gonna be repping my follow the action outdoors. A lot of you have been asking me on Instagram if my sponsorship with Xzone is gonna affect anything with FTA. FTA doesn't mind at all. FTA wants me to expand, expand my brand and everything else like that. And I'm super happy to be teamed up with Xzone Lures. This is just literally a, a hair of what they sent me and everything else. They're a super awesome company. We worked out an awesome deal and I'm gonna be using their baits all 2020 season. For the tournament season, we have a bunch of tournaments coming this spring all summer long. I'm super excited. Get ready for the Bull Shoals Tour. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, I will see you guys next week.